Looks like Hawkins is going to heat up Gabe Cups as much as he can. Where spins on Garcia and scores. Probably forced the miss there. Pretty good move, though, by Elijah Hawkins. Drew some oohs and ahs in the crowd. And now it's renewed down low on Payne off the glass and in. Ben's got to be in the conversation for Big Ten Coach of the Year. I know Fred Hoiberg is probably the likely front runner. Uh-oh. Sloppy entry pass. Here's where. Minnesota with a win on Saturday over Penn State, trailed by as many as 23 points in the first half. And now Christie is fouled on the three. He'll be at the line for a rare four-point opportunity. There's Galloway, under 10 to shoot against Mitchell. To a cutting in Baco, slashing and scoring off the glass. Great off the ball cut. Kinsey and Baco. No more as a catch and shoot guy, but starting to understand the nuances of the game. Numbers and Baco coming off a 24 point game. How about Payne? It comes with a little bit more confidence, Corey. Also, and you know, knowing that he's going to get more playing time, not coming off the floor. Here's Ware for three. He can hit that shot, missing this one here. Payne with a tip to his own teammate, now Mitchell. Mike Mitchell Jr. splitting defenders high off the glass and in. And the Gophers after a disastrous start of a one point lead. Johnson and Payne collide, and we play on. Here's Johnson, tries to go behind the back, and Mike Woodson is livid. There's the lob, Payne off the feed from Mitchell, and Pharrell Payne a hard fall, but the basket counts, Indiana trying to counter, and Ware does just that. How about this pace back and forth? Yeah, it looked like uh, a couple of Indiana players are cherry picking a little bit. That is very true. Oh, man. One possession game, another turnover. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell off the glass, what a rejection. Peyton Sanford got the first triple-double in Iowa history. Iowa history. I, I, I didn't believe that at first. All the great players that have come out of Iowa. Man, great move. Indiana can regain the lead this trip down the floor. And Baco attacks and scores. For Indiana, that's, that's a pro set. Well, Anthony Walker got hit in the face. And one for Khalil Ware. Second half. And now Christie lost it. Turnover Minnesota and Baco up the way to Galloway. Awkward angle, but still found. Trying to put a little, a little bit of pressure on him after made free throws. Renewed down low to Walker and scores off the glass and Walker oh. grabbing his knee as he came down. Indiana's done a really good job on Dawson Garcia. He's not even looking to score. Turnover number 12, Galloway drives and scores off the turnover. Indiana back on top by nine. Crowd trying to get into this one here with 12.38 to go. And Baco, can he answer? Yes, he can. Dawson Garcia too late on the contest. Christie's had a quiet night, stripped by Johnson. Galloway waits for teammates. It's Mbako for three, and he knocks down another three. College one more year. Uh, boy, she is just is so good for the game overall. Just the game of basketball overall. So Indiana goes back, takes their time. Boy, look at Parker Fox. Parker. Johnson, Hawkins. And Baco's had the hot hand, and that continues here in the second half. Well, yet again, Dawson Garcia late on the close. It was tough for those bigs to get out on the perimeter. Kind of feel naked out there on an island, but you got to know the scouting report. Parker fucks off the feed. He's doing all he can to ignite his team and his crowd. Minnesota. Struggling to get a stop in this end of the floor. That continues. Khalil Ware now with 21 points. Down low, Renew off his fingertips. One and got it off oh. in time. And that will Big Ten road games in Indiana this year. And Purdue won its seventh road conference game last night. Mitch and Cups will dribble out the remaining seconds. Indiana, towards the end of the regular season, now has won three straight Big Ten games.